What's going on YouTube? It's Lutevium Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a bootable USB drive with Ubuntu on it from Windows 10 with completely free tools that are available right now. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is plug our USB stick in here and we're just in the file explorer. We're going to make sure that it shows up and we're going to make sure that it is empty. If it has anything on it, it will be erased and it will be unrecoverable. So make sure that you take all the files off of it or better yet, just use a brand new blank USB stick. This one here is 32 gigabytes. That should be more than enough for Ubuntu. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our web browser and we're going to type in ubuntu.com, U-B-U-N-T-U.com. And that's going to take us to the official Ubuntu page. And we're just going to click the download button right here and then Ubuntu desktop. Now that we're here, we're going to go down to the first entry in the list. This may be different depending on how far in the future you're watching this, but just know that the first entry is usually the one that's recommended for new users to Ubuntu and we're going to want to click the download button. Your download should start automatically. It will either ask you where you want to save the file. If it does, I'd recommend saving in the downloads folder or it will automatically start downloading to your downloads folder. While that is downloading, we're going to want to open the Microsoft Store, which should be under M in this little list here. There we go. And we're going to go to the search bar and we are going to search for Rufus. So we can grab this search bar at the top and type in R-U-F-U-S, Rufus. And it should be the first entry in the list. There it is. Rufus is a free and open source tool that allows us to create bootable USBs. It's one of the largest in the world and is used globally. We're going to make sure it says Accio Consulting here, just so that we know that we're getting the official build. And we're going to click Get. And that should begin the install process. All right, so Rufus is installed and we have downloaded Ubuntu onto our system. It's right here in my downloads folder. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Rufus. We're gonna allow it to make changes to the computer. It'll give you that dialog box. That's what it just gave me there. You're gonna make sure you wanna click yes there. And you're gonna wanna make sure that USB stick F is selected. So before we begin, ensure that the only USB stick or SD card or anything like that the only one in the computer is the one that we want to make bootable and that we want to wipe. So make sure that you unplug all other USB sticks except for the one you want to format. And make sure that under this device, that's the USB stick that we want to format right there, the 32 gigabyte USB stick. Next, we are going to want to ensure that this says disk or ISO image, and we're going to grab our Ubuntu image and we're going to drag and drop that right into that box. And it should show up with Ubuntu followed by the version number. And when it does that, we'll just leave everything else default here. We'll ensure that we're still on the device that we want to format and we're gonna click start. It's gonna ask us about, you know, ISO or DD image. We're just gonna make sure that it says ISO recommended and click okay. It's gonna warn us that all data will be destroyed. We'll click okay there. And now we'll start formatting. All right, so there you have it. You have a bootable USB stick for Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution because the process is generally the same with any other type of Linux. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that more people can find this video and maybe it can help them out too the same way it helped you. Let me know in the comments how you, what you think about this video, if you have any comments or anything you want to add to it. And until next time, thank you for watching.